What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you had an awesome week. Uh, today's video, we are doing something very festive. festive. And you know what's around the corner? It's Christmas. And we want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Exactly. A Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, y'all. Yes. So, in today's video, we are doing something very exciting. It's something related to Christmas, very festive. So, let's get started. All right, so, so we are in the kitchen, kitchen now. So, today what we're doing is two things in the kitchen. We are actually doing my mom's holiday punch uh, that she makes every year, which I absolutely love. Uh, he likes it. Some of our family members don't really particularly like it, but I like it. She makes it just for me. And yes. mom, love you. Um, and it is the best thing ever. Um, you guys, if you guys want to make it, we'll leave the description below. The ingredients below. below. So, and the um, other thing we're gonna be doing is making a gingerbread house. So, yes, first time. I'm excited. I've never made a gingerbread house in my entire life. I haven't either. So this is my first time. I'm so excited. For dos. So it's good. All right, good. What are you here, Michael? So the first thing you're gonna need are I'm pretty sure there's five ingredients. Yeah, if not, it might be four. But anyways, the first ingredient you're gonna need is cranberry juice. Go oh, the cranberry wow. juice. That's Number two one. is your pineapple juice. Dulce. This is a really. This is gonna be a simple, simple punch. So I mean, it doesn't really require that much. Three. You have to keep it in the freezer because it needs to be solid. So that is, is frozen orange juice. Now you can get all of this at, at Walmart or, or any or any local, local stores that you guys exactly. go to. Exactly. So that's number three. Number four, which I didn't grab, is Red Hots. Yeah, yeah. And number five, it's optional. You do not need to use it, but it is optional. It cloves. Now, when you put this together, all you do is turn on the stove and you stop putting the ingredients. So first, you add the cranberry, the cranberry juice. You just pour it, pour it, pour it. Guys, what I can say I'm telling you, this stuff that we try is absolutely amazing. It our favorites out of the family, like you said, he said some of the people in our family do not like it, some people do. Um, it is, it's heavenly. It's, so yes, like you said, it is heavenly. It is the best thing ever. Uh, it is, it can get very sticky, but that's okay. Um, next, he's adding the uh, pineapple. Now, you know, it doesn't matter how you go with this. You can go pineapple juice, orange juice. I mean, it is, there's no certain way of doing this. Just as, long, just as long as it comes out the best, because that's always that's always the best thing. It will taste good. So now, right now, he is pour, trying to get the lid out, and he's gonna pour the with pineapple the, juice, pineapple juice, and with the uh, cranberry uh, juice that he poured in. See how they're doing it without spilling. Good. Mix it in, just like that. Simple and easy, guys. Pretty simple. Uh, and then the third step, the orange juice. So you add the frozen orange juice. Now you want to get the orange juice, but still pulp. Yes. Because if it has pulp into it, you're gonna get that stringy taste inside. And you don't want that. You don't want that at all. So, so get the one with no pulp. Yeah. Our mom always told that, and our sister actually makes it because our other sister, she's our second oldest in the family, and she mixes. And she just makes it like how mom does. It. So, um, it's delicious. It's delicious. It always brings me happiness because I'm drinking something that has been in family for so long. And it's so, very festive. And okay. very, if you're talking about a festive drink, this is one of them. Exactly. The Red Hawks, just doesn't matter how much you can pull half a box, you can pull the full box in it. But for me, we do the whole thing. We do the whole thing in it. Because it does give a little hotness to it, yeah. a little heat to it. Exactly. Um, what I like. But just like that, guys. Bada boom, bada bang. See, pretty simple. Um, and then we put the lid on. Now you're gonna be asking why you didn't close it. That's actually at the end. So you let that sit and 
cooked. And that is it. How long did it sit for? Um, very simply. 10, I don't know. We'll say 20, 20 to 15 minutes. Or 20 minutes. We'll go so. with that, so. Okay, so I forgot to give you guys, tell you guys this. While that's cooking, or boiling, or whatever you want to call it, same thing. Uh, the red hot's in here, you're going to want to stir it regularly. So I'll probably like five minutes, or however long it's going to take. Uh, until the mint, uh, the mint, until the red hearts have basically dissolved. Um, because that's what's going to help give it that flavor, flavor to, yeah, that spice to it. Um, but, yeah, we just wait until the red hearts are uh, completely gone. Yeah. And then, until you see steam. And other than that, I'm going to check it up on it every time, and hopefully it's the time the way that we made here. So, alright, so we're finally done with whoa, the result. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, well, not quite done. We actually have to add one more ingredient to it. That is correct, Amanda. We do have one more ingredient, and that is the cloves, cloves. for the uh, punch. Now, I do have to tell you guys, uh, when it comes to making this, you want to have it at a higher temperature. I was at between 3 and 4. It takes a lot longer when you have it. So I have it at 6 and 7 between those two. That's the one that's going to have that cooking. Uh, when you can start seeing the steam and the smell too. Yeah, I know when it, when it's almost ready, where you have that smell, that smell when you know like it's Christmas Eve, like yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. So the clove, so, it's yeah. Gone, the cloves are going to add it, add more of that smell to it as well. But the red hot has to melt, so you have to stir regularly when it comes to this, like five minutes, more maybe less. Uh, so the time span on making this completely, I'd give it like 30 to 40 minutes. I don't know, unless you're stove is like super fast and has like electric flames like or something on lines to just to make yeah, it boil just, 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 just like that guy yeah. so so next thing we're gonna add is now with these cloves you don't want to go too crazy with it because if you add lots of cloves in it you're gonna have <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be really really uh uh, we punch it. Yeah, with a lot more to it. Uh, so when when I my mom makes it, she puts about that many cloves. So there's one, so there's three, uh, seven. So seven cloves on. And you just add it in there. You stir it. Away. You stir it. Now make sure when you uh, and wait. wait. Make sure when you uh, when you uh, or when you get the when you get ready to put the punch in your cup or bottle, your hardware. Make sure do not have the clove in there because you swallow it. Well, you can have it in there, but just make sure to well, the boy drinking it. Drinking it because it will not be pleasant going down. Or one if you choke on it or something. So it's like kind of a hazard, hazard wise thing. Yeah, but so, so just make sure that uh, that's beware. There's gonna be cloves in it, so when you do make it. Take them out if you want to, or you can put it in your cup and just bypass it. Exactly. Try to and like, like you said before, you don't have it. Is, it's not required to have it, but when we adapt, when my mom, when our mom made it, it's she put cloves in there just to have a little punch to it. So, and then when that's done, when you put the cloves in, you want to reduce the heat to like two between two and one. Uh, and so four minutes. Summer, it, four minutes is the max limit for it. It doesn't really need that much. It's really as strong as it is. So it's strong and it's already hot. So it's. it's I'm telling good. you guys, he can vouch on it too. It is the best. It was the best. It's the, okay, it is the best holiday punch ever. I agree. I absolutely agree. I mean, I know there's eggnog and bowl and whatever, but this definitely has that festive. To it. Oh, I, I really I, 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 she makes it, it feels like it's Christmas. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. Even what? even like there'll be times when it's like not Christmas, we like make it as it's blue sometimes. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, so like Christmas all over again. Dude, uh, it, it's, it, it's, it's it's the best thing ever, guys. So if you guys definitely want to make it, you should, because it is freaking amazing. amazing. So like I said, we're gonna leave, we're gonna have the ingredients in our uh, link on uh, the channel, so if you guys want to check it out, go check it out, make it yourself. Super, super easy. Super easy, super, super easy. fun. Surprise your wife, surprise your kids, surprise your boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever wants it. It is my one of the best things I ever tried in my life when I was a little kid until now. It stuck with me I and I am it. grateful for it. I am great. I am. It is. I love it. I, like I see. Not. Well, I'll, I'll give you this. A long time ago, I took some the holiday punch to my work, 
And uh, I told people, they're like, I, they ask me what I'm drinking. I'm like, it's my holiday punch my mom made. It's like holiday punch me, yeah. So I, no joke, I gave a sip to one of my friends and she absolutely loved this. Like, I need the ingredients, but I totally forgot to give her the ingredients to it. So if you're watching this, now you know how to make it. <laughs> you know how to make it. So it is. It's good, guys. I, I wouldn't. We wouldn't be making it if it wasn't that good. Yeah. Um, some people won't like it because it does have a um, little spice to it. Not too spicy, but it's just because of the red hot sin and the, the uh, cloves yeah. combining together. Exactly. I mean, I also agree to the uh, the um, pineapple juice. Yeah. But other than that, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. it I, is. I absolutely love it. So. so it's a great. I mean, I bet you when you walk in the house, if your wife makes it, whoever makes it, you walk in. It's almost like it's Christmas and Zen yeah, making that holiday punch. You know where? You got it from Michael Matthew. And you are welcome. So now it is time to pour the punch into our mugs to drink it. Super excited. Like, you know how excited I am to drink this. Oh, like, I literally have chills in my system right now because I'm excited to drink it. So, it may take a while to get to the liquid actually in your. Oh, we don't have a label. Yeah, so if you guys have a label, that's a thumbs up. If you don't, like, if you're like Matthew and I and don't have one, you have to use a spoon that you've been stirring it with. Well, it's gonna take us a lot more for So, um, another point that I'm just really terrible at doing, guys, which you need to know. Uh, once it's completely finished, put it on the lowest temperature and you keep it on burning, it won't burn it. So it'll still, it'll still stay warm, and so when you want more, 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 and if you have family over and you want more, 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 it'll still be warm, and you're like, good to go. Oh, and another thing is you can add more like cranberry juice and whatnot yeah, to, yeah. to it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's already mixed. So. All right, here we go. Here's another tip. Oh, oh my goodness, it smells like holiday. walking into the, the house right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, you gotta, man, I wish you guys were here to try this. This is so good. Yeah, it really is good, guys. It like, gives you that burning sensation down here. This, man. All right, so now we are in our dining room. We are doing uh, item number two, and that is the gingerbread house kit. It's it's a a kit. kit. It's a kit, so it's a nice looking gingerbread house we're gonna be doing, and uh, it pretty much has everything in here that we need. Um, the tray, the tips, the gummy trees, snowflakes, peppermint balls, <laughs> mini uh, jellies, and mini beads, and uh, different type of tips and everything. So this thing comes loaded, guys. Yes, I'm it excited. Loaded. I'm excited. And this is the first time we have made this before. And of course, we got our punch. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, so we're gonna open it, that boy, and we're gonna, gonna go to town with this because. I'm very excited. I, I can feel it. I can feel that punch coming down my and down my coffee. Yeah. That's the best part of the punch is where you can feel the warm sensation going down your your jaw. Yeah. No, most people probably wouldn't like it, but you know what? Uh, yeah, you mean to make there are some. So here we go. I'm excited. This is my first time making a gingerbread house. Uh, this is a kit though. You, you don't want you don't want us making a gingerbread house because you know that we'll mess it up. Yeah, it'll take forever. So here's what we have here. Um, the house and everything, the gingerbread and everything. So of course it comes, like I said, it comes with the liquid stuff, all the accessories that they come in, the tips, the tray, and everything. Look at this, like it comes in everything. So, and well, it's pretty cheap for a gingerbread house. Oh yeah, it's like eight bucks. So I think it's like some type of... It's a house fruit holder. Yeah. It's a it says it is a e belt roof holder. Oh, that's pretty cool in a way. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna get this fun cool. Oh man, this is so good. And I wish you guys could have it. It really works. You could, but they can't. No, unfortunately, they can't. Alright, so let's get this open. Let's get all the stuff out of here. I'm just gonna set that through. Alrighty, so. I don't know what we're doing, but <laughs> we're gonna get this a try. Yeah. Um, I've never ever did a, a gingerbread house. So my younger brother has actually made, them, and they're actually pretty. He he made his from scratch. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's it's freaking pretty cool. It's really cool. 
some of the gingerbread houses that I've seen that they've made from homemade are pretty pretty yeah. legit. That's the one I was in high school. Yeah. Really cool. So yeah, now you're stuck. You don't want to trust us with it. You want to do. It will not look anything like it. It will not look and we would find some way of messing it up. <laughs> Just trust me, we would. We've got two twins right here. <laughs> Most of the time, things don't go away that they should be. Yeah, <clears throat> very true. That's why back in the child life, well, they, we, they always, always call us the uh, um, Tonka Truck Master of destroying people, destroy things. So, all right, so let's get this thing started. Don't reach your teeth, guys. It's not good. Yeah, kids never reach your teeth. Sorry, so I'm sorry if I'm setting a bad example, but get the icing. Oh, these are pipe clean. Great. Uh, so if he really wants this, <laughs> if he really wants this. Mm -hmm. over here. It's a tip of this. It's a tip of this. It's a tip of always It's a tip of this. We had to get the things cut open, so we got the scissor and it's cut open. The cool thing about this, it's like, whoo! Mm. Alright, so. <laughs> mm. So we're just gonna turn that bad boy in. And what we're gonna do is start the first part of the house. We're gonna build this bad boy up. There. Guys, like I said, we are. We don't know how to scrap this, so. We're not. Just be more of this. Okay. Start. Goes with me. Come on. Oh, you really don't want to force it. I think we're doing right. Go for it. There we go. Probably should start down here. Ah, oh, so you have to start with the sides. He is really one of the two. Okay, so I got that part in. It may not work. It may work. Who knows? So we got that in. Have even right. No, do First of all, you're gonna have to have it correctly. Right. Well, okay. All right. So we have the house completed. Everything intact. Everything looks pretty good. Now, pretty easy so far. Yeah, it went pretty easy. Now on to the fun part. So we're gonna add. Um, um, we'll add the stuff to make the house look pretty. So like. It may not look anything like that, but it's not gonna look anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. So, I can give you that for a fact. It ain't gonna look anything. Like so that. we'll we'll give it a try and uh, bring. Uh, we'll, we'll make it almost similar to what the house looks like. It's gonna look exactly like it. <laughs> no, let's go. So, so I'm gonna add some. Uh, I'm gonna add the snail on top of the right here because there's a there's a crack right here. So let's see. Let's put my art skills here. The test. Well, it's nothing compared to what we have, but we're gonna keep on going with it. So, all right, guys. So so far, it is looking exactly like the fixture. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is try the lights. We didn't read the instructions correctly. We thought about the ice and kind of sit there. <laughs> we didn't do that. Oh well. Hey. Yellow light. Yeah. You have to go for it. So. What we're gonna do is just don't judge off face off our uh our thing please. I think they I think they had the things up here like this. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. So we're just gonna make these as lights. We're gonna do it all right. We're not gonna do exactly what the box is. Ooh, dev box. Well, you know. This is this is Michael Nassi's style of gingerbread house making. So the lights are not staying. Um, <laughs> well my mints are staying on top of my roots. So we're just gonna have like oh look at that. Santa right. Claus is gonna be proud of that. You can see those he's gonna come by and look look at that gingerbread house. That's one good looking gingerbread but I don't know Michael did it. Just uh pop one there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, they're staying right there for me. He's got to press them in there. Are they supposed to go on the sides or are they supposed to go on the I don't know, dude. They're just... 
you guys. Um, it, it's just not turning out the way you want it. Here, I'm gonna stick all your like bottom on there. Hey, this, these, this kind of looks like uh, my mom's uh, decoration ornament that she has at home. The, there's a house that lights up, and it kind of looks like this. A lot better looking than ours, but hey. Alright, yeah, my lights are not wanting to stay. They just not want to stay. Alright, so the next thing is. This. They have trees. I don't know where we're going to turn anything with trees at, but we're just going to yellow with it. So, you know, just like I said, just bear with us, guys. I think they have like different trees, so we're going to put some trees right here. So we're just going to place a big blob of some nice icing. Dude. This, I mean, if you guys want to uh, hire us as gingerbread contractors, go for it. We're the best. Mm. See, even that light is like didn't want to stay, or this light either, <laughs> or this icing. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so here we go, guys. Ice is okay. <laughs> so we got a tree right here. And we got a tree right there. Yeah, this icing does not want to stick. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to work on the gingerbread. I'm going to give him some. So, my trees don't want to stay. So, yeah, right there. It's, it's, just, it's, just, not, it's just not going to stay. So, there is a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's. It's just not turning out the way. Uh, <laughs> it's like a, it's a mean, it's a mean pizza bread. I'm coming up to you. <laughs> it's just not turning out the way we want. Um, if you, if you guys want, uh, <laughs> you guys want to follow these shreds, you probably will follow it. Um, with the snowflake, we're just gonna do this, just for fun. So, it's snowing, because I don't have time to put all that on there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be, let me go, like. Oh, guys, like I said, if you guys want us to be your uh, gingerbread contractor, please give us a call. Our okay. phone number will be in the description. Yeah. And no, it's not 911. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, come on. Alright, so here's our gingerbread. <laughs> I think it's the best one out here. And I don't know what we're going to do with these four guys. We're just going to put there and then make this right here. I thought about putting something right here. Wait, 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 give me that. Give me a tree. Watch that one. Right? I need some. Look at that. Oh, that's a masterpiece. Look at that. Santa Claus is going, man, I've never seen a tree on the house before. <laughs> We're going to be very, very happy, very pleased the way how our place looks like. Let's get some snow. Let's get some snow. Yeah, you guys can't go wrong with these trees up here. Hey, this was a bad looking tree. You <laughs> know, right? My, my little tree doesn't want to stay. Yeah, this has items that's not working. Um, but, yeah. There it is, our gingerbread house. Um, hope you guys like it. Oh, they better like it because we put a lot of effort in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will give this a A plus for the best. Oh, yeah. I give this best, a, I give it an A plus too. The best performer, but. Um, gingerbread house you've ever seen in the world. Oh yeah, hands down. It beats the the best best gingerbread house in the world, like you want it. Yeah. So if you guys ever see a person that wants to do the gingerbread house, come on. Uh, yeah, contact us. Exactly. Because yeah. we are the best in the West. I agree. Best West in the West. All right. Well, I think that ends it right there with our friendly final gingerbread house. You guys. Want the punch? Like I said, we'll leave the description, uh, the recipe down in the description. Right here was the best you ever seen. Um, I think that's it to say. Yeah.
If you guys like this video, video, subscribe to our channel. If you guys want to leave a comment and slap a like button, that would be awesome. Every video is up Friday. Friday. Follow our Twitter. Follow our Instagram. Until we meet again, stay, stay classy. classy.